Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. This is Amir Khan Ali Zai starting with chapter 7 stream 2. In this particular uh, lecture we will be continuing on the cost functions. So now we will be discussing the concept of the opportunity cost. So the, it explains the concept of opportunity cost is simply another way of comparing pros and cons. The basic rule for optimal decision making is this undertake a given course of action if and only if its incremental benefits exceed its incremental cost including opportunity cost opportunity cost is in the let's say example thus pursuing the mba degree sense only if the associated benefits acquisition of knowledge career advancement higher earnings exceeds the total cost mba degree karne se aapka maqsad kya hai ki uske associated benefits ko aapne dekhna hai uski us knowledge ko aapne apne job ke liye use karna hai business ke liye use karna hai career advancement ki baat hai salary high salary ko lene ke liye hai apne business mein zyada business zyada profitability ko dekhna hai to maqsad kya hai uska link kya hai fixed and uh, sunk cost jo hoti hai cost that are fixed this is the do not vary with respect to different course of action under consider, uh, consideration are irrelevant and need not to be considered by the manager. The reason is simple enough. If the manager computes each alternative cost, the same fixed cost is subtracted in each case. Therefore, the fixed cost itself plays no role in determining the relative merits or action. A sunk cost is an expense that already has been anchored and cannot be recovered ki ek cheez ke upar aapne jo investment kar di jo soch laga di jo cost ho gayi hai wo revert nahi ho sakti wo wapas nahi ho sakti for instance in the earlier factory example plant space originally may have been built at a higher price but this historic cost is sunk and is irrelevant to the firm's current decision ki ab isko aage leke chalna hai nahi chalna hai jo aapne investment uske upar anchor kar di hui hai wo aapki sunk cost आगे जाके इसको और अच्छे तरीके से हम अंडरस्टैंड कर सकते हैं मोर जनरली सिंक कॉस्ट देयर शैडोज इज सीक्वेंशियल इंस्ट्रूमेंटल डिसीजन कंसीडर अ फर्म दैट हैज स्पेंट 20 मिलियन डॉलर इन रिसर्च एंड डेवलपमेंट आर एंड डी के ऊपर उन्होंने 20 मिलियन डॉलर लगाए हैं ऑफ अ न्यू प्रोडक्ट द आर एंड डी एफर्ट्स टू डेट हैज बीन अ सक्सेस बट एन एडिशनल 10 मिलियन डॉलर इन नीड टू कंप्लीट अ प्रोटोटाइप प्रोडक्ट दैट मे नॉट बी First to market. So the 20 million dollar cost sum you spent up ne kar diya hua is a sunk cost and therefore irrelevant to the firm's decision. Ki aaya aap us prototype ke upar jaate hain, nahi jaate hain. R&D ke upar jo apki cost aayi hai, that is there that you have already spent. If the product future prospects are unfavorable, the firm should cease R&D. So kani ka maksad hai ki sunk cost aap concept aap ka yahan pe clear hota hai. Sunk cost ke aage bhi ek definition aa rahi hai power plants se related. You can go through it. I hope uh, this will clarify the basic concept of function. The cost function indicates the firm total cost of uh, producing and uh, a given level of output. Our analysis of cost distinguishes between the short run and the long run. So short run is a period of time so limited that the firm is unable to vary the use of some of its inputs. Because it time period both short. Long run. Uh, time mare pa zyada hota hai, usme hum zyada chizon ko focus kar sakte hai. So in the long run, all inputs like labor, equipment, factories can be varied freely. Uske pa ke pas kulla time hota hai. Our investi, uh, investigation of cost begins with the short run. So the short run cost, we focused in two inputs, capital and labor. In the short run, capital is a fixed input and labor is a sole variable input. Production of uh, additional output is achieved by using additional hours of labor in combination with the fixed stock of capital equipment in the current plant. So the fixed cost results from the uh, firm's expenditure fixed inputs. These costs are incurred regardless of firm's level of output ke wo kitne pankhe produce kar rahe hain 10,000 ki hain, 20,000 ki hain, 30,000 ki hain, jo building ka expense hai, jo tax hai, jo card ki cost hai, jo security cameras ki cost hai, jo trucking ho, jo aapki uh, bills hain, electricity or gas, so the fixed cost you have to pay. Variable cost represents the firm's expenditure in variable input with respect to the short run operation of the repair firm. Labor is the sole variable input. If you have used labor, then you will use it. If you have used it, then you will use it. Variability is electricity. If you have used it, then you will control it. Average total cost is the total cost divided by the total quantity of output because it excludes fixed costs. It can be said that fixed costs are not going to Average variable cost is always smaller than average total cost marginal cost kya hai 
हर एक्स्ट्रा अमाउंट की बात हो रही है इन द एडिशन टू टोटल कॉस्ट दैट रिजल्ट फ्रॉम इंक्रीज आउटपुट बाय वन यूनिट के कोई एक यूनिट आपने 10000 पंखे बनाने थे 12000 में तो वो मार्जिनल है वो एक्स्ट्रा पे जो एक्स्ट्रा वन यूनिट आपने एक्स्ट्रा बनाया वो दैट बिकम्स द मार्जिनल कॉस्ट लॉन्ग रन कॉस्ट इज द इट इज द फर्म कैन फ्रीली वेरी all its inputs in other words there are no fixed inputs and fixed costs all costs are variable thus there is no difference between total cost and variable cost also keeping in mind the shape of the long run cost curve depends on return of scale ye discuss karenge ki short run aur long run ke darmiyan mein difference kya aata hai ye consider a firm that produces output using input labor or capital ki baat ho rahi hai management immediate task is to plan for future product if it has not leased plant and equipment yet nor has it hired labor thus it is free to choose any amount of these inputs if wishes okay decision making uh, principles ki baat aati hai cost is an important consideration in decision making and decision uh, in deciding among different courses of action the manager need only consider the differential revenues and cost of the various alternates the opportunity cost associated with choosing a particular decision is measured by the foregone benefits of the next best alternative so economics profit is the difference between total revenue and the total cost ki aapne kitna kharcha kiya hai aur kitni aapko input hui hai explicit cost and opportunity cost ko calculate karte hue marginal decision should be based on economic profit not accounting profit cost that are fixed or sunk cost ये मैंने अभी आर एंड डी की एग्जांपल पिछली साइड में दी थी विद रिस्पेक्ट टू अल्टरनेट कोर्सेज ऑफ एक्शन आर इन द शॉर्ट रन द फर्म शुड कंटिन्यू टू प्रोड्यूस एज लॉन्ग एज प्राइस एक्सटीज एवरेज वेरिएबल कॉस्ट इज यूमिंग इट दस प्रोड्यूस द फर्म मैक्सिमाइजेशन ऑफ द प्रॉफिट इन द लॉन्ग रन ऑल रेवेन्यूज एंड कॉस्ट आर वेरिएबल द फर्म शुड कंटिन्यू प्रोडक्शन इफ और ओनली इफ इट अर्न अ पॉजिटिव इकोनॉमिक प्रॉफिट जब तक फर्म प्रॉफिट कमाती है थोड़ा है या ज्यादा है आप इक्विलिब्रियम पॉइंट से ऊपर जा रहे हैं इवन इक्विलिब्रियम पॉइंट को भी टच कर रहे हैं तो यू स्टार्ट प्रोड्यूसिंग यू यू कीप प्रोड्यूसिंग थिंग्स इन मल्टीपल प्रोडक्शन फॉर्म शुड कंटिन्यू ऑपरेटिंग इन अ लॉन्ग रन ओनली इफ टोटल रेवेन्यू एक्सीज टोटल कॉस्ट दिस इज नो देर इज नो नीड टू एलोकेट शेयर कॉस्ट टू स्पेसिफिक प्रोडक्ट्स और लॉन्ग रन कॉस्ट को फर्दर एक्सप्लेन करते हैं पॉइंट वाइज के इन द शॉर्ट रन देर आर बोथ फिक्स एंड वेरिएबल कॉस्ट लॉन्ग रन में देर आर नो फिक्स कॉस्ट एफिशिएंट लॉन्ग रन कॉस्ट आर सस्टेन व्हेन द कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ आउटपुट दैट अ फर्म प्रोड्यूस रिजल्ट इन द डिजायर्ड क्वांटिटी ऑफ गुड्स एट द लोएस्ट पॉसिबल कॉस्ट वेरिएबल कॉस्ट क्या है कि द चेंज विद द आउटपुट एग्जांपल ऑफ वेरिएबल कॉस्ट इंक्लूड इंप्लॉयड वेजेस कॉस्ट ऑफ रॉ मटेरियल गार्ड सिक्योरिटी कैमरास ऑल दोस थिंग्स ट्रकिंग देयर मेंटेनेंस ऑल दीस थिंग्स आर रिलेटेड रिलेटेड टू इट द शॉर्ट रन कॉस्ट इंक्रीज और डिक्रीज बेस on variable cost as well as the rate of production if a firm manager its short run cost well over time it will be more likely to succeed in reaching the desired long run cost or goal with this we come to an end of this particular lecture and in next stream 3 we will be discussing on uh, costs in detail